In this video, I'll break down how to create this really cool slow shutter speed effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So as you can see, this is what the effect looks like. It just simulates this really cool kind of low shutter effect. So instead of doing it in camera, you can actually create this effect digitally. However, you won't be able to do this with the, all of the native effects in Final Cut. You're going to have to download a plugin and the plugin is called the Strobe plugin. And basically what it does is basically like posterized time for Final Cut Pro 10. And it basically allows you to kind of like fake stop motion. There's no way to create this effect without the strobe plugin. So in order to create this effect, you're going to have to need the strobe plugin. It's a really cool plugin. It's like four, it's like, it's like probably five, six, seven dollars. It's not super expensive and it allows you to create the posterized time effect in Final Cut. And I will show you how to create this really cool slow shutter speed from scratch. But remember, you're all going to have to use the strobe plugin. So this effect is going to cost money. It's not completely free. Now, a couple of things to keep in mind when you're making this effect is you want clips with a lot of camera movement. So you want to make sure there's a lot of ca like handheld camera movement You also want to use it on very like dark clips as well as clips with a lot of light So to recap you want shots with kind of like very kind of like shaky handheld um, Camera movements very dark shots and then shots with a lot of light and that though If all if your shot has those qualifications or meet those qualifications You can create a really cool effect Okay The first thing you want to do is you want to head over to the effects panel and you want to head to all and the first effect you want to apply is the trail effect so I'm just gonna take the trails effect and I'm just gonna place it onto my actual clip now you can adjust the settings we'll kind of like take the duration a little bit I'll turn the echo down so I'm, you can basically kind of adjust the settings and you're going to create like the effect says kind of like a trail so if I play the video this is what it looks like as you can see it creates this really cool trail effect so the next effect you want to apply is a visual echo so go to all and then just type in echo so it's gonna place the echo effect and just place it on to the clip now you can go through and adjust the settings I mean we turn down the amount a little bit it, but now this is going to create an echo effect and if I play the video this is what it looks like so it has a trails effect and an echo effect so if I play the video this is what it looks like it's definitely a really cool effect so you want to make sure you know you don't have to apply both uh, echo and trails you can kind of choose but in my opinion I think adding them both creates a really cool effect so the final effect you're going to have to apply onto the clip is the strobe effect. So I head over to my effects and I'm just going to apply the strobe effect. Now unfortunately this does not come with Final Cut. You're going to have to buy this plugin and basically what this plugin does is it simulates kind of a stop motion effect. So I head over to strobe rate. I'm going to take the strobe rate and change it to 4. So basically what this is going to do is it's going to give it kind of like a stop motion feel. So if I click on the video, as you can see, now if I play the video, there we go. See it creates this kind of stop motion effect and there you go, you have a really cool look low shutter speed effect in Final Cut Pro 10. So basically as you can see this is what it looks like. It creates a really cool effect and now you can kind of mess with the settings. So basically the, the, the fundamental that's behind this effect is you want to add some sort of echo or some sort of trail onto your video. In this case I use trails and visual echo. You could apply like just the trails or just the echo. You want to apply some sort of echo to your clip and then after you add an echo to your clip you want to add the strobe effect which is going to create the stop motion feel and there you go. You have a really cool low shutter speed sound effect or shutter speed or low shutter um, effect it's a really cool effect and that's basically it just some sort of echo effect and then kind of just make the video or kind of make the video look like a stop motion video now another thing you might want to do to make it look even cooler is you could maybe add like a blur so go to blur add some like directional blur if you want to add some blur to the actual um, you know actual, actual video because when you do like a low shutter speed it's gonna be a little bit blurry so you could add kind of a directional blur just to kind of give it make it look a little bit cooler but those just come, uh, come ideas you don't have to do that it might look a little bit cooler if you add some blur to it but simply add some sort of echo effect onto your clip and then just slow it down and make it kind of like stop motion and you have a really cool slow shutter speed effect in Final Cut and of course you could like just add the strobe effect or just add the visual echo effect but you combine all of these effects together it creates a really cool visual effect and I highly recommend you definitely use this effect especially if you don't want to actually do it in camera and you want to do it all digitally Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you're new to this channel, I upload Final Cut Pro 10 and Apple Motion 5 tutorials every week at 10 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. So if you enjoy these types of videos, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button. Also, be sure to check out my Final Cut Pro 10 playlist where there's over 300 tutorials to learn from. Lastly, make sure to check out my website where I sell Final Cut Pro 10 plugins. Anyways, I will see you in the next one. Peace.